G'day, RG Bargy crew. I hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. All right, let's take a look at how to buy a used truck in the new update, the 1.49 for ETS2 and ATS. Now, you might see some flickering on my screen here. Pay no attention to that. It's not the uh, problem with the update. It's a problem with uh, the system that I'm using to record this. At the moment, I'm going to have it fixed, hopefully, shortly. Uh, but at the moment, there's a bit of flickering, so please ignore that. All right, so to buy a used truck in the new update, what we do is we look for the truck with a little tag on it. Now, hopefully, they leave this as the icon when they release it to the public uh, because that way it'll be a lot easier for you to find it. There's a couple of ways to do it. You can click on this one over here on the right hand side or when you're in uh, the where is it the truck manager down the bottom here you've got the same icon again with the tag on it and you can access it through that way so either way uh, from the uh, main screen by clicking on the one with the tag use truck or by in your uh, truck manager down the bottom, the same icon. So let's do that now. All right. So once you're here, you'll see on the left hand side here, you'll see all the different brands of trucks. Now, the ones that are highlighted are the ones that are currently available. And as more become available, the different icons will light up and allow you to um, access them. But for now, we're going to go with the um, Volvo. There's that flashing. Please ignore it. The Volvo FH Sleeper. The reason I've done that is because I've done a bit of um, uh, investigating prior to doing this to compare prices and so forth of new trucks. So if you were to buy this truck brand new, it would cost you 115000 plus in its brand new state off the showroom. Now to buy this second hand, it's going to cost you 89000 So that's a reasonable uh, deduction or discount on a new truck depending on the state of this truck. Now, if you have a look, because we've highlighted it, we're hovering over it, you'll see that the ticket comes up that shows you what condition the truck's in. And if you have a look at the truck state down the bottom of that ticket, it says that it's a three-star, so it's not in too bad condition. It's only got 47,000 miles on it. And then it shows you the part wear underneath. You've got 37% wearage or wear on the engine, 30% wear on the drive, uh, the, sorry, the gearbox, 22% on the drivetrain, 25% on the chassis, uh, the cabin, sorry, or bodywork itself, and then the tyres are down by 24%. So it's overall, it's not too bad. Uh, so therefore, it gives you a rough idea of what condition the truck's going to be and when you purchase it, etc. So once you've chosen your truck, you would click it to highlight it. The yellow bar shows up once you've highlighted it, and then you would purchase it. Now you've got to find a garage to place it in. We'll place it in this one here, and click OK. So we're now it's in the garage at Brussels. So once you've done that, there's a couple of things you can do. Go to Truck Manager, and... Where is it? That one there, wasn't it? No, it was this one here. Yep, that's the one. Okay, so this is a truck we've bought. Now, you normally, when you buy a new truck, you would go to the upgrade, and it brings you to this screen, and you can then just alter it by changing chassis and cabins and engines and whatnot. But we're not going to do that because we're going to go to the repair and service area so to do that whoops i went and clicked on the wrong one let's go back to it one i think it was yep and we'll drive it okay so now we're going to hop in the truck and we'll go to a service center and show you the new repair system and how it works well let's try and start the truck first and see if yeah, so we're getting an engine malfunction. Although it did start up the second kick. But what we'll do 
is go directly to the service centre. We won't drive there. It's probably just across the road anyway, but let's just go straight there so we w don't waste any time. And once we're here, we'll hop into the service centre. And this is where you'll see the new service system that's in 1.49. Now, a lot of people are saying that they think it's going to be too complicated. Well, I've checked it out, and I have to admit, when I first looked at it, I thought, ooh, yeah, this could be a bit uh, tricky. But it's really relatively easy once you, you know how to use it. So, for example, if you look up here, and again, I apologise for the flickering. If you like it, look up here at the truck damage report, which I've highlighted, it shows you that there's 1% permanent wear, 28% part wear, and 0% actual damage. Now, the way to find that out is by clicking on Repair All, you'll see there's the cost down the bottom here is zero because there was no damage. Again, going to there, the red square shows you there's no damage. And if you click on the Replace All, you can see that there is wear and it needs replacing. 28% of the uh, parts need, or well, 28% wear overall. Um, and that's what it's going to cost you to repair it, or replace it, I should say. Now, this is a part where, unfortunately, they've got it wrong. Because the costs of replacing parts, which probably in real life would cost you more than actually buying a new truck, it's it, in the game, it's not saving you any money. Because if I was to spend $67,000 to replace all the parts, which it's indicating... You look down the bottom here that it would cost me on top of the purchase price which was a hundred uh, sorry which was what was it eighty nine thousand plus it's going to cost me more than a new truck likewise if i go over here to the restoration which basically completely restores the truck to a brand new truck it's going to cost me an additional one hundred sixty seven thousand plus dollars to restore the truck which means that it's going to cost me nearly double. In fact, it's over double by the time I've uh, paid this and the purchase price. It's over double the, the, the new price of a truck. Now, again, I hope that they will be rethinking the, the uh, pricing once they release it to the public because at the moment this pricing would not make me want to buy a used truck because it's just ridiculous. I wouldn't be paying, I'd be, end up paying 200 something thousand dollars for a $115,000 brand new truck. Um, and I'm actually getting a second hand, even though it's saying it's restored to pristine, I'm still paying double to, to that privilege. So I think you'll find that they will rethink the pricing, or at least I hope they will. Or I have got something terribly wrong as far as the pricing and whatnot. But I can't see that I have. If I have, please let me know in the comments below. So anyway, so if I was to restore the truck, that's what it would cost me. I'm not going to restore the truck. I'm going to replace everything that needs replacing. Oh, by the way, too, down the bottom here, there is service recommendations. If you click on that, it will tell you what it recommends uh, the truck needs to get back on the road. It's only 21,000. But even, oops, excuse me, even with that, it still brings it up to the price of a new truck. So you'd be better off buying a new truck. But for now, we'll go with the replace all. Again, hopefully they'll be getting the uh, pricing or we'll bring it down so that it's more realistic to buy a used truck in the actual release. But let's say we do this, ignoring the pricing. So we'll replace all. And according to this, if we replace all the parts that need replacing, we should be down to only 1% wear on the truck when we've finished doing this. So let's see if it works. Okay, so we've done that. Now what we'll do is we'll hop back out. We'll have a look at the truck. Check out the damage system or the damage screen. And it has. As you can see down the bottom here, uh, you can see on the damage screen, it shows only 1% damage to the truck at the moment. So it still has cost us way more than a new truck to get the truck 
back to the condition that it should be in. Uh, so again, I, I reiterate, hopefully they'll fix that and make the pricing more in line with an, a, an actual saving by buying a used truck as opposed to it costing you more than a new truck. So yeah, again, what I'll do is I'll show you where to get to that icon. Up here on the right with the price tag sticking off of it, the greenish yellowish price tag under used trucks, or when you're in the truck manager, down the bottom with the same type of icon, clicking on that takes you to the used trucks and away you go. I, I do think that the new service system is quite good. Go enter, go to service, and you have all these systems repair all. But if you, the best bet is to first hover over the truck damage report up the top here and have a look at what it tells you. The grey is permanent wear, 1%. The orangey yellow is part wear or parts that are worn. And what they are at the moment, it's zero because we've repaired all that or replaced all that. And then any actual damage where the um, part that's damaged is either fixed by repairing it or replacing it. So that gives you an idea of what you're up against. And then you can choose which one you think is better. Repair all is just repairing the current parts that are in place. Replace all is replacing them with new parts so that uh, the truck is basically like brand new in, the, in as far as those parts are concerned. And total restoration is completely restoring the truck back to uh, its original state. Ignoring these pricing, hopefully that won't be more than buying a new truck. Because to me, it's not worth it and I won't be using that or I won't be using used trucks. I'll be using this repair system, but I won't be using it on used trucks. I'll be using it on my new ones because it will be cheaper to buy a new truck, if you get what I mean. Hopefully that I explained that without it being too confusing. So, yeah, that's how you do it. And, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, let your friends know, share it, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.